Hello everyone, Sigma Later here. Welcome back to Resident Evil 3. I've just got back here. And I've got the vaccine back. Um, I need to... Oh, I'm going to have to ditch you, I'm afraid. I'd, I'd rather not, but mi mixing these is a bit more important. These guys gave me less trouble this time because I was actually expecting them. Get the grenade launcher out. Got the explosive rounds in it this time. I will not be caught off guard by those damn hunters again. Santa bitches, I was, I was under the impression it was only going to be two of you, but then a third one just had to join in the fun. First aid spray, perfect. Okay. No, no, can't pick you up, I can't pick you up. Do you, are you holding something? You are, scientist dying message. It's happened, our worst case scenario. The t virus has somehow leaked. Under orders from Dr. Bard, I'm to manufacture mass quantities of the vaccine. I've prepared a culture of the t virus antigen. Now I just need to combine it with an adjuvant to enhance its effects. And I should be able to produce enough vaccine to save all the surviving citizens. The adjuvant samples are stored in the incubation lab. Test subjects are already wandering the halls, but I'd better find a way to get some samples while this culture is maturing. If I don't make it back, please complete the synthesis process. Try to find a way to stop this outbreak. It's the least we can do after setting these hor horrifying events in motion. I'm on it, fella. Hello. Yeah, you just stand there while I casually shoot you in the back of the head. That's fine, that works for me. Gunpowder, red herb. Right, okay. We're getting there. Put you in there. I'm going to keep you. Just put you away. I'll keep that with me as well. Let's top up the handgun bullets. Alright. Let's save. Should be going up here now. I think. I think this is where the place was. No, it's not that way. This is here. Have I done it? Oh god, what do I have to do? Essay on vaccine synthesis. Oh, how useful. The most efficient, efficiently synthesize of two most efficiently synthesize a vaccine. Both an antigen and adjuvant are required. The antigen produces an immune response, while the adjuvant increases the effects of such responses, leading to increased antibody production. By combining samples of these two ingredients, one can create a potent vaccine base. Okay, I've done that. By processing this vaccine base with our 
proprietary equipment, a larger batch of vaccine can be created with astonishing ease. What's more, my latest antigen and adjuvant samples yield unprecedented rates of antibody production, producing more than 1,000 times the yield of traditional materials. This not only makes it an effective vaccine, but also a potential way to eliminate existing infections. Okay, but making it is a puzzle. So no more information. Vaccine. Oh, of course. Oh, not, not near the face, Jill. Joe, get up. I'm holding, I'm holding it. I'm holding it. There's got to be something else I can do, surely. I just need to keep away from the canisters. Fair enough. Bye, Nemi. I'm sure we'll see each other again very soon. Right, okay. Um, take the extra flame rounds with me. Do I need anything else? I might be okay. Charlie's right the save I don't care how many times I've saved my first playthrough is always going to be more cautious than subsequent playthroughs that follow ah disposal center this facility is to be used for the dissolution a disposal of test subjects used in Nest 2 experiments. The potent solvents used will ensure that any biological matter within the vat, living or dead, is completely dissolved and ready for disposal. Please follow all safety protocols when using the disposal centre. Always confirm that no employees are in the chamber before beginning the dissolution process. Always use the regulated amount of solvent, regardless of the volume or mass being disposed of. If a test subject reacts violently, do not halt the disposal process, leave the chamber filled for at least 12 hours, then check for complete dissolution before draining. 
cool. Ooh. More of these. Right, what we'll do then is I'll ditch the first aid spray. Don't have any more grenade rounds, no. Oh, God damn it. I want I want the explodey rounds. Let's pick those up. Reload. Okay, I think we're good to go here. What in God's name is this place? It's linked, it's related to Umbrella. I, frankly, I think that's all we really need to know at this stage, isn't it? It's linked to Umbrella, it's a bad place. Wow, so we've got... Do we have to get Nemesis in there and then dissolve his fat, ugly ass? I like it. Simple, easy to remember. Oh. Don't lose that. What do we have here? Nikolai, don't! The city needs that vaccine! More than I do. I don't think wisdom uh, in trying to impart on you is getting true. Uh, now I know you can't put a price on life. Uh, but I'm in this business to get paid. So let's make a deal. You go down there, battle the nemesis, and I'll recall it all and sell the combat dark. Put on a good show and maybe I don't need a vaccine. Agreed? Good. Fuck you in a million ways, Nikolai. I never really liked him in the original, but this remake is really making me hate the character. For all the right reasons. to be clever and dodge it. Can I do anything with these? Ah! Apparently not. Ah! Oh, could you not? Ah! I, I just healed. And now I have no more healies. Jill, is that you? Carlos? You're okay. Let me spot for you. Good idea. Sake, really? He's hiding behind take seven. Now, rip that fucker apart. Ah! How the 
the hell am I supposed to do this? I need more. I need to carry more health items, but that means carrying less ammo. And I need all my ammo. I suppose the key is not is to not suck and dodge more. But uh, I, I'm not really one for defence. I suppose I could get rid of the knife. Don't really need the knife. Ah, uh, no, I didn't think so. Carry additional flame rounds, I think. In fact, I'm going to get rid of the handgun completely. Take out the extra shotgun shells. And more health. Alright. Let's try this again. Got the exploding rounds. Loaded. Right, let's skip that. Just notice there are items down here. Maybe I needed the handgun after all. Got some more incoming. On your left. Ah! Oh, fuck. You. 
you. Come on. Aim. Is that it? Please let that be it. Here comes a crane. Use it to climb up. Come on. Come on. Now get on. Understatement of the century, Carlos. It's not over yet. Yes, please do. That's not going to be the end of it, is it? I know it's not. You got any first aid sprays on you, Carlos? I didn't actually uh, see that I had another first aid spray on me. I have to get that vaccine back. Safe, absolutely. Gunpowder. First aid spray. Weapon spec sheet. Next generation rail gun. Suppression of new bioweapons in case of outbreak. Extreme firepower provides the secondary benefit of completely obliterating the target, leaving no trace behind. This thing is totally rad. Tyrants out of line, just give them the finger of <laughs> just give them the finger and the problem solved. Packs the firepower we need, it would be even better if this was if there was a way to control the output. Mobility may prove to be problematic in the field. Perhaps its platform could be refined. It requires multiple power sources. May be difficult to secure in practice. Could you consolidate to a single power source? Cool. Some more of those. I'll take I'll take the handgun back. I've decided I, I do need the handgun. Ditch that. Grab another one of these. Uh, ditch the grenade launcher for now since I have no more ammo for it. Keep the magnum. Alright. Let's press forward. Oh, look at that. That doesn't look like an arena at all in any way, shape or form. Hello. It's done. Give me the vaccine, you greedy son of a bitch. No, no, no. You ain't money. I like this. We shall make ours an ongoing arrangement. Now drop the gun! Oh, I wonder who that is. Oh! Nemi! You've really let yourself go! Have you... Have you ever seen anything so incredible? 
The data on this would be worth millions. But... Uh, you know how it is. City's about to explode. And you can't put a price on life. <laughs> Good luck! Nikolai! Joe! Go after Nikolai. He's got the vaccine. What about you? We're running out of time. I've got this. I know you do. Look, just so you know, this is the last fucking time. Right. Hello. <laughs> right, okay, I see how it is. It needs power. No, could you leave me alone, please? assisted mode don't cheapen my experience game <laughs> right yes I'm glad it put, put, put me back here I don't think I picked up any handgun but uh grenade rounds during that fight so I'll stick to the plan I'll take the flash grenade let's pick that up extra health So the first attack has to be with the railgun. Take out those sacks, I, I think.
Good, he's down for a bit. Stay down. Go ahead. I'm going to put you right back on your ass. Right. Yes! Okay. I figured I figured this out now, I know where I went wrong before. This is a completely different final nemesis than the original. I love it. All power sources activated. Power you think up. I don't know how to fuck you up? <laughs> Shut up, Jack. Power oh Jill. I love you so much. You want stars? I'll give you stars. Come on! Next time, take the fucking hit. <laughs> oh shit! I blasted holes through the wall. Good riddance. Right, where's the way out? <laughs> oh, I loved that. That was insanely fun. Right. Oh, maybe I have to go through here. Ah, yeah, here we go. Okay, so Nemesis mutated forms are vastly different from how they were in the original. But for the better. Absolutely for the better. Ah, this place looks familiar. Almost like it's a copy of Nest One. So it looks like Nikai survives. I may be getting ahead of myself, but since Nemesis didn't kill him, and there are no multiple endings to this, um, it's been confirmed, so I'm assuming Nikolai survives. Oh, no. oh shit, Carlos. I'm not going to stop. Promised you this, didn't I? Oh, no! Oh, Do you have any idea what you've just done? No, no. Don't care. My client ordered me to reduce umbrella to rub. Ten minutes until missile impact. Ah. The missile has I see. Are you working for Wesker? Goodbye. Still in town. Shame you didn't listen to me when you had the chance. Fuck him up, Carlos. Oh, shit. Jill! Shoot him! I can't. I'll hit you. Do it! You have to! There's no other way. Take the shot! She won't do it. 
Kill him now or leave him for the missile. Why'd you do it? There's a price tag for everything. Even letting the world burn. <laughs> Who are you working for? I'll tell you. If you get me out of here. I'll pay you whatever you want. You're a fool. You're a fool! If I die, you'll never find out the truth! I don't mind a little detective work. <laughs> wow, well, Nikolai, you're fucked. <laughs> He's also insane. City. Decided then and there, the ashes of Raccoon City would be Umbrella's ashes too. I would end them once and for all. Wait, was that the vaccine she held in her hand just then? Well, there we go. That is the end of Resident Evil 3. I loved that. That was amazing. And it's really weird. Out of the original games, Resident Evil 2 was hands, my hands down favourite. I didn't particularly care for the original 3 all that much. I don't know why. It just felt a bit too rushed and too short for me. But out of these two remakes, I think I've got to give it to Res Resident Evil 3. I loved the the Resident Evil 2 remake, don't get me wrong, fantastic game, but with a lot of flaws. This one, yeah, it's quite a short game and there's a lot of things they cut out, but they expanded quite a bit as well. So overall, I think this is a huge improvement over the original. And Nemesis, I love Nemesis. Oh, what an amazing game. We'll be, uh, we'll be back at the end of the credits just to see if there's any cutscenes. Alright, what have we got here? Oh no, it was the canister. She took the canister with her. Who was that? Hey, wait, what? C rank, number of deaths, seven. Yeah, I, pre I pretty much deserved that. 
Total game time, 6 hours 2. Clear time, 5 hours 7. Not bad. Not bad at all. I will now be playing the ever-living hell out of this. Get all the unlockables. What have, I, what have I got so far? Let's see. Pursuer, we've got concept art for the creatures. Models. The shop has been unlocked. You can now purchase items from the shop, which is accessible via the main menu. Points used to unlock items can be earned by completing in-game challenges. View them in the records. Ooh. Bonuses. Okay, so what can I get in the shop? <gasps> I can get Jill's original costume. I have 8,000 points. Right, I don't want to spend recklessly. Recovery coin. Gradually regenerate health when held. Carry two to increase the effect. Okay, so we've got two of those. Defense coin. Ah, uh, so this is right out of Resident Evil 7. Assault coins. Crafting companion. While held, increases the amount of ammo gained when crafting. Field combat manual. A manual of compiled stars, close range combat knowledge. Edited by Chris Redfield. While held, physical feats such as perfect dodge become easier to perform. Lockpick. Specialised tool, cool, so I can get that from the off. Ooh. Hit pouch will not be available in assisted mode, as this would exceed the maximum inventory space. Okay. Hot dogger. What is that? As its name implies, this umbrella developed anti -bio weapon knife is used by those who like to show off. The blade can be superheated, causing the target to burst into flames. Samurai Edge. Look at all these weapons. Ah, oh, here we go. Now we now we get into the infinite weapons. Infinite rocket launcher. Infinite that. Okay. So I need a few points to unlock these bad boys. Although I can get the infinite handgun from the off. That is amazing. But this brings an end to our time in Raccoon City. I really hope you've enjoyed joining me on this adventure, guys. I'm going to end this time here, end this episode here, rather. Thank you so much for joining me. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Resident Evil 3, and I will catch you next time. Take care now. <laughs>